Okay, hopefully everything's working this time. It seems like it's a little bit delayed. Okay. <clears throat> All right, it's me again, trying to get everything caught up. Um, so what does self-care look like to you, right? I love these things, and especially like on Sundays, you'll see all these social media posts of self-care Sunday. And I love the emphasis that I see on social media of taking the time to take care of your needs as well as those of your family. But there's one aspect of the idea that I do kind of, I don't want to say take issue, <laughs> but I'd like to just bring your attention to, I guess. I spent more years than I'd like to admit thinking that an uninterrupted bath was the same thing as self-care. But seriously, like, I've learned since that things like hygiene should not be a luxury, right? Brushing your teeth, taking a bath, taking a shower, whatever you need to do. That's not really a luxury. That's kind of like part of healthcare. <laughs> and so, because the thing is, we are so much more than just physical bodies. We have an intellectual side, a spiritual, social, and all these other personal needs. And so your self-care routine should include activities that take care of all aspects of yourself, um, not just whether or not you have time to brush your teeth. And I know it's hard to imagine, but it is possible for you to take care of yourself every single day, not just on weekends. Right? Um, again, it was one of those things I resisted for a long time, and I, and I totally understand if you do too, but it is possible. One of the most powerful routines that I learned from my coach, and when I'm working one-on-one -on -one with my clients, um, she calls it, a, and so do I, it's a jamming, right? To be, put it very simply in just the basic three steps, um, it's a habit of journaling, affirmations, meditation, or four steps. Journaling, affirmations, meditation, and movement, right? This can be done in as little as 30 minutes, um, and it really shouldn't take more than an hour a day. You take a few minutes every morning to kind of dump out your negative thoughts and feelings. I'm not big on writing like narrative forms. Oh, today is Monday and I plan on and did and I think this and I feel that. Don't have the time, don't have the interest to do that, truly. And so I use it like, um, almost like if you want to suction the garbage out of your brain, I just dump out my negative thoughts. I do it like in writing um, bullet forms, five, six sentences. You can do it on your phone. I don't keep them. Most of the time I throw them away. I do have like a notebook where I keep it all in one place. But it's not something that I need to go back and review. It's really just to dump out all the things, negatives that I'm thinking about myself, the things, my feelings, if I'm sad, scared, anxious, whatever it is. Um, and so that's kind of how to do it if you prefer to write for hours and you know, do a big long narrative, go ahead, whatever works for you. I'm just sharing what I do for me. Then when I'm taking, after I've dumped all this stuff out and then I'm looking at those bullet points, it kind of is like, okay, this is where I need to set my intention for the day, right? And so if I'm worried about um, not having enough time to get to some activity that I planned this evening, then my affirmation is I do have time and I do control what I do with my time. Right? And so I take the negative thoughts and I turn them into something almost like a theme for the day that I follow through. And so that's the affirmation side of it. Um, there's, um, for the meditations, right? A lot of people think there's right and wrong meditations, this, that, and the other. There's not. Your brain is going to wander. The trick is just not follow where your brain goes. One of the most helpful apps out there that I use, and I highly suggest again to all of my clients, is called Insight Timer. Like insight, like inside your brain. It's got uh, meditations as short as five minutes, and they've also got like some really long two-hour ones. And so I recommend if you're not used to meditating on your own, go ahead and download the app, find something that you like. Some have music, some are guided meditations, whatever works for you. And again, as little as five minutes, as long as you need. I average about 15 minutes a day, and I do this every morning. And then movement, the step of movement, it's, I'm not just talking about intense exercise, right? So if exercise isn't part of what you do every day, um, you can do 30 minutes of dancing in your living room or just go for a walk or, or go some gentle yoga stretches. YouTube has tons of different videos, instructions that you can use. Or clean something, like whatever fits into your everyday schedule, just move your body in some form of fashion. Um, again, recommended 30 minutes a day, but you can do as little as five, 10 minutes. Just something to get your body moving, your blood flowing, your heart pumping. Um, I do the journaling, the affirmations, and meditations first thing in the morning. It just helps keep me grounded, sets the tone for the rest of my day, kind of ensures that I recognize that I am in control of what happens to me based on how I respond and react to things. Um, if I get nervous or stressed, the affirmation is something I can go back to to ground myself. So I like to do it first thing in the morning. The movement part, and then um, it's something that it kind of depends on my schedule, right? And so sometimes it's later in the morning, sometimes it's the evening, but do ensure that you get some form of movement in every single day and then you can complete your whole jamming process. Again, we do this a lot in my one-on-one -on -one client stuff. 
Um, especially because there's so many parents of kids with ADHD who feel like they can't control anything, right? I can't control my kids, I can't control my house, I can't control my thoughts, I can't control anything. This kind of takes that I can't control out of it and sets you up as just a daily reminder and then you take control of your day from there, which is um, big in forming safety because when we don't feel safe, we don't respond to our children in a way that they feel safe and this causes all kinds of emotional turmoil for everybody involved. And depending on the age of your kids, it's a great habit to get them started in too. Um, and again, recognizing that their needs go beyond, they have, it kind of teaches them and then teaches you too that they have needs that go beyond um, just be good and do what you're told, right? And it also helps with them developing some self-awareness, which is huge in growth, um, their growth steps in impulse control and emotional regulation, right? When they become aware of their own thoughts and feelings and they recognize they have the power to change some of these things, it's a big, big step that's gonna go towards um, Making sure that you continue to have a good relationship with your child, repairing whatever damage is in the relationship, and then really, really comes in handy later and when they're in school and things like that, when they're, um, you can remind them, hey, you know, we've got this, we've got this uh, tools for you to use. Or remember your affirmation, so when you're getting really angry at your teacher or really angry at your classmates, you know, go back to whatever affirmation they developed that morning. So it's a really good habit to get them into, too. So please don't forget you are a complex person with many aspects of what makes you you. Um, and all aspects of who you are deserve to be cared for. And it is really is possible to do something every day. <laughs> if you're having hesitations or you're not quite sure how to fit it in your schedule or you need the other tips or tricks, just go ahead and write it down. Um, again, put it in the comments or just post a separate thread in the group, whatever it is, and I'll make sure that I can respond to your specific needs um, for your situation. And I will go ahead and see you guys tomorrow. I can't believe the 10 days is almost up. It's getting really exciting. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.